pathory. A pathory is when we can uh, create an array or grouping of objects and we can have them go along a particular path. A uh, pathway allows us to use a line, a circle, an arc, a polyline, an ellipse, spline, even a helix. So here I have two examples. I have a line and an arc. To do this, we're going to go up to the pathway, which is found in the modify panel. We're going to hit the down arrow. We're going to go to path array. To start off, it'll ask us to select the objects. I'm going to pick my polygon circle a polygon uh, triangle rather. I'm going to hit enter. Now it's going to ask us to pick the path curve. When I pick the path curve, it guesses at how many items you want and it brings up the array creation ribbon bar. And so what we're doing here is the type over here is a path array and then the number of items Okay, the item count here is 11. And what we're doing is the measure path method. So it's going to put in uh, the number of items and the item spacing and give us a total number here. All right. So I'm going to come along and I can say, well, how about I want a two? And so now it comes in and says, ah, oh, we created 11 of these. But look what happens if I go to three. Oh, I can only fit seven of them now. So it goes through and it fits seven of those things in. Um, also, I have the number of rows. These are like spokes. They give more of a spoke appearance in the rows. And I can set the distance in between those rows. I'm going to bring us back to one here. And I also have levels which are for 3D. To close the array and the finished array, finalize it, I'm going to hit close array. Now, this is all one grouping. Let's do the same thing down here. Let's come down and let's go to our path array. Let's select an object, hit enter. Let's pick our path, which is the arc, and notice it guesses at how many items you want. If I come along and say, well, I really want a measurement of two and a half in between each one, and click out, it'll calculate how many it can fit in there, and the answer is nine. And so what it's doing in the measure path method then is that we're specifying the total number of items and the particular distance in between and it will create those um, item counts for us and so this is called the measure path method and so when we're done we're going to hit close array and the measure path method by the way is the default method And now we created another path array, and I pick on it. It brings up my uh, my ribbon bar again, my array creation ribbon tab. So this is an example of the path array using the measure path method.